Hey YouTube, it's Jalu Adams again. Uh, so I'm putting out another video tonight because I promised one of my viewers that I would put this out. So basically this video is about uh, my nightmare jobs through TaskRabbit. This isn't going to take long because it's really late and I got to go to sleep so I can go to work tomorrow. But um, I had two different nightmare jobs. The first job I had, uh, I had to go out drive out to Maniunk. Uh, it took me like 30 minutes to drive down there from where I live at and um, I, I communicate with the guy uh, just for the story's sake um, we're gonna call him Jim so I was talking to Jim uh, telling him like oh, I'm on my way there Jim uh, he says okay that's great I'll let you write in when you get there okay great whatever so as soon as I get there, um, I find out he's not there. And I'm like, so Jim, where are you at? And he's like, oh, I had to step out for a while. Um, you can just go through the back, uh, back alleyway and then you can uh, start from, from the back. So I'm like, okay, it takes me like 10 minutes to find this damn place. So I finally find it. And it's not what I expected to be at all. Uh, I originally went out there to do a yard job. And uh, when I went back there, like, man, it looked like a jungle back there. It was ridiculous. Um, the guy, he had the nerve to be like, oh, man, all you got to do is just mow the lawn, man. Just cut down some weeds and that's it. When I got there, there was literally no lawn. Like, if... I can visualize it correctly. What it looked like, it was like an area with a bunch of rocks, like big and small rocks, but it, it had like all sorts of weeds and vines like growing outside the ground and you could barely see anything underneath. So the whole time I'm paranoid as hell. I'm like, I don't think this is a good idea. I'm just thinking this in the back of my head, but I'm like, whatever, I'm not going to bitch out. So. I keep trying to do this shit, but um, what what ended up happening is uh, I stepped inside there, and literally like a second after I stepped there, I felt something wasn't right. So I just took a quick peek, look around the corners. Um, first thing that was off, I seen a hornet's nest like right at the beginning. So if I was to even start cutting anything up. Uh, hornets would just start flying outside of the nest and it, it would have been goodbye Jalil. So that was the first thing. I don't mess with insects. Second thing, um, I'm just thinking in the back of my head like it really looks like there's a snake right here. I, I just had a, a deep feeling that there was some sort of snake. So I look around and as I'm looking I finally see it. I just look on a fence it's what appeared to be a snake and then at first I gave him the benefit of the doubt I'm like okay maybe it's a hose and then I look further and then I see the head and then I'm like yeah I'm not doing this job so needless to say I, I messaged the guy and I called him I said dude I'm not doing this job man I mean this is not in my skill set I said there's a snake here and he's like can you just send me a picture? I'm like, sure, I'll send him the picture. He said, wow, that looks crazy, man. Get out of there. And then he asked me what kind of snake it is. I assume he was trying to just tell me, oh, it's a garden snake. It's it's no problem. But I canceled that shit way before he could say that. So I was like, so I was done with that job. Didn't take that one. Um, that job might have been worth like $500. So I didn't take the job glad I didn't. It wasn't worth it at all. Second thing and the last thing. This was probably the worst of them all. Um, so I went to Collingdale PA like really close to my house with my friend Charles. Uh, I was just trying to help him out uh, get get a, a tasking job. So uh, I drove him up there and we get there and it looks really weird like around the area the the place in front looked dirty like the the grass wasn't cut there were like boards and shit like everywhere so I'm just like all right 
oh, this is great. I can always charge this lady to go cut her, uh, cut the front of her house or whatever. Great. So, my friend Charles, he calls the lady to ask her where she is so she can come out. And so, uh, she says, oh, she's in the back. I'm in the back. So, we go to the back. As um, soon as she opens the door, this was the worst thing uh, I, I've ever, I've ever actually like. This is the worst place I've ever actually been to. It was straight out of a horror movie. She opens the door. She's in this like, um, in this support like to help her sit down, and also it was used as a walker or whatever because she was like an older woman. The place was disgusting to say the least. She was literally a hoarder, like, and, like, I mean, and she was, like, one of those hoarders from, like, that TV show hoarders, like, everywhere she wasn't sitting at was filled with trash, boxes, food, uh, feces, everything you can name, it was terrible, I mean, <laughs> like, and the worst part about it is that that day I decided to wear shorts and uh, a short sleeve shirts. I barely had any gloves. Um, as soon as I seen it, uh, the first thought in my mind, I'm like, I need to get the hell out of here right now. But I wanted to help my friend, so I decided to stay. All we had to do was move a refrigerator. We didn't even get to move the damn refrigerator out because it was too big to fit outside of the door. We might have been able to fit it outside of the door, but this lady, she taped it up so the doors could stay shut because there was something gruesome and disgusting in there. I don't even want to know what it was, but there was something seeping out of there that that made me gag. I wanted to throw up. It was horrible, man. Like, And I'm not even exaggerating. This is like no joke at all. Like Everything I'm telling you is straight experience. And so we're there and... I give my friend Charles the, the spare gloves that I had and I really want to get the hell out of here because we're trying to move this thing out and also there there's feces and shit like rat feces on top of the refrigerator as I'm trying to move it I'm trying to like move my hand out the way so I don't touch the shit shit falling all on me all on my legs my bare legs it was disgusting man I mean I was cringing up like I was itching after I left. I'm even itching like thinking about it. I was it was terrible. Like the worst thing that I ever had to go through. Uh, we didn't even move the refrigerator out. Like I said, I ended up we ended up leaving and we never came the hell back. <laughs> Thank God. Um, and well, the day was pretty bad. Um, the only saving grace is that the job that we went to afterwards, uh, me and my brother went to that and we made like about $200 that day. So that was a lifesaver. So, but, um, that's all the nightmare stories I have to tell y'all. I'm sure there will be more. <laughs> um, so I'll let y'all know, uh, at some point near in the near future, but, I gotta go to sleep. I'm tired. It's like 1 a.m. over here. Um, but if you like this story, uh, please put a, a like on the video. And if you like any of the information that I'm giving you or you want more information on TaskRabbit, just give me uh, a subscribe. Uh, just push that the subscribe button. Like I said, I gotta go to sleep. I'm tired. I can barely even word sentences right now. So. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Uh, hopefully I'll put out another video. I'll try to put out another video. But have a good rest of y'all night. I'll see y'all later.